water. All right, today, I, you can see I have another bigger canvas. This is an 18 by 24. It is a gallery wrapped piece. My edges are covered, so yes, there's going to be a straight pour in the future. I have mixed up entirely too much paint, so I may uh, wind up having to do a smaller version or something. Um, the last painting that I did, the last video, which was the Do's and Don'ts Challenge with Chris Jeshik, uh, it kind of looked like a tree. And I wanted to see if I could capitalize on that and make it look even more like a tree. So that's what we're going to do. There's going to be a ring pour in the center and then straight pours on the side. And uh, hopefully we'll get some cells popping up that will look like leaves changing color. That would be cool. So we'll see what happens. The colors we have going today, and oh, there are many. This base coat color is Artist Loft Burnt Sienna mixed with Artist Loft Maple Yellow. Naples Yellow. It makes a very pretty, almost pumpkin-y color. This is going to look like a fall piece. The uh, leaves are changing colors, hopefully. For the rings, um, <laughs> I've done a lot of mixing here. So start it with the uh, raw umber in Liquitex Basics. Unbleached di titanium in Artist Loft. And this third color here is a mix of the background color, the unbleached titanium, and the uh, raw umber. There is a bit of this background color in both the raw umber and the unbleached titanium. When I am custom blending colors, I will do that. I will find one color that I will put in each color so that they kind of uh, live in the same family. It still has that undertone and they blend well. They look, they look uh, very good together. For the cells, we have Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Emerald, Copper, and the Deco Art Americana Decor Matte Metallics in gold. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards. Each one has a photo of the technique, an associated video, that goes along with that particular painting that gives you all of the information that you need, the exact colors and brands, the pouring mediums and recipes, consistency, all that good stuff. This box here has a tip that relates to that particular technique and you have a color palette here at the bottom. These two boxes can be used as the basis of a two color pour or a two color palette you can add to that and there's also eight bonus color palette cards each card has five color palettes use all of the colors or just use some of them you can mix and match the palettes and techniques and you have hundreds of thousands of combinations Plenty of things to challenge you and inspire you. These are available at my website, ginadeluca.net. These paints have been mixed one part paint to two parts flow drop. That mixture is then thinned with my 90% water, 10% flow trawl concoction until we get this consistency. 
This is about a two on my consistency scale. It makes a slight mound, but disappears very quickly. Okay, I'm gonna put some paint in my cups. I'm going to be using this color as my background color for the straight pour. Okay, so I've got my background in for the straight pour. Put these out of the way. And so now I'm going to put in the ring pour paints. Then I will lay down my base coat. And then I will add the rest of the paints for the straight pour. These paints do tend to pop up in your cup, so it's better to put that paint in the cup just before um, these should be fine because I'm going to be layering them. All right, starting with a touch of the darkest color, just a touch, not even enough to cover the bottom. And then the lightest color And the mid-tone. Okay, and now I can go to using more, but I want that very center to have the look of a knot if I can get it. Again, dark light mid. I want to get to about four ounces. Okay, now I will lay down my base coat. I find that putting down a base coat really helps to keep your composition, to keep the definition of your composition. Okay, my base coat is down, and now I'm going to put some more paint in these cups. The way that I have to pour these to get the effect that I am trying for is backwards to how I would normally do it. So I need to pour this way and then this way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off at the same time. <laughs> But it's where the negative space will show up that, uh, that I'm thinking of. Okay, well, we'll just do it this way first. I'm going to pour from up high. I want this to sink.
first the emerald, then the gold, and then the copper. Okay, I need to work quick. I'm going to start with the ring. Right in the center. Straight at first. Changing directions to give a little interest point. going to stretch this out a bit because the other puddles that I pour will push this in and I want to make sure it has enough area. All right, I'm gonna bring that back to center. You will see, this will get squished in and stretched. And with any luck, it'll look like a tree trunk. Okay, here goes nothing. for the other one. Ooh. This is hard, doing it backwards. But as you can see, the negative space is towards the outside of the canvas. And then kind of dragging the cup up as it gets to the grain that's on the bottom. And just kind of give it look like maybe it's branches. We'll see if that works. 
another experiment. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. That's all right. Okay. Hoo-wee. Let's do this. I feel like I should let this side sit a little bit. This had a chance to let the cells pop up. And eh, they're going to come one way or the other, right? stretch this out before I try to hit corners Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. I can actually hear my heart beating right now. <laughs> getting a good angle again with this the weight of my paint which is a little trickier when you're dealing with three puddles because your weight is not exactly evenly distributed These edges are going to be a little wobbly, but I think that can be fixed towards the end. Worked last time anyway. I'm going to turn this around hey, so you can see. But it's also easier for me to see where the weight of the paint is tilting away. Trying to stretch it out so it kind of looks like the base of a tree, a little fatter on the bottom. Not that way. 
well, it's not perfectly centered, but. Not all trees are perfectly straight, right? All right, I'm gonna leave this be and see what kind of cells pop up. Back in a few. Okay, here it is. Like a psychedelic autumn. The colors did not disperse the way that I would have preferred. I think I need a different kind of cup those cups are more narrow and tall. I think I prefer something wider. I don't think they mix as well the way I would like them to. Still looks cool though. Those cells are they are very 3D looking. Lots of shimmer. Here's the trunk. There's the knot. Oh, there we go color on this camera when I get to certain areas it doesn't pick it up right anymore Very cool overall. I do think I might have another go at this eventually. I think if I wait until the end to stretch the tree trunk, I will get uh, a little more control over it. I think once it catches that edge, it's hard to do anything with it. So I will keep that in mind next time. But there it is. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do slap that like like it insulted your mama's cooking. And uh, also, feel free to click the share button because, you know, sharing is caring and all that good stuff. Check out the description box below for links to my Amazon store. Most of the items that I use, you can find in the Amazon store. And uh, even if they are not in my store, if you enter through that link, I still re receive a commission at no additional cost to you from anything that you purchase off of Amazon. My uh, website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can find my art and music and fluid art inspiration cards. The link is in the description box for that. And also, last but most definitely not least, my uh, our, our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. 
Join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. All that good stuff. I think I wanna show this to you with just a single light on before, uh, before I hang up. Okay, I wanted to show this to you this way real quick, just because you can really see the sparkle. And I think the non-sparkly part of the tree will look cool once it's dry. See, this is a better, uh, it keeps changing. So it's too bright on this end. Too much shimmer, that looks blue. It is green, see? Crazy things, I don't know if y'all are gonna see this, but on the monitor that I'm seeing, it's wild. But, uh, anywho. All right, y'all. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.